Yo, man, what are you two today? I'm back with another video, man. As y'all seen by the title and thumbnail, I'm back with another video. As you seen by the title and thumbnail, bruh, I'm gonna basically tell you the reason why you uh, you can't get all social media type shit, bruh. You feel me, bro? And basically, let's be real, bro. A large majority of people is, is stuck on social media. And it could be bad in two ways. Now, anything that could be bad can also be good type shit. You feel me? Now, I'm not getting on here saying social media is some motherfucking bad thing or some, some shit like that. But majority of people use it for the wrong reasons, bro. Most niggas get on social media, bro. And, and, and do these few things. Now, if you using social media for the positive things, like to learn new shit, bro, like to really grow, you feel me? Or you getting paid off that motherfucker? Or you trying to like build a career off that motherfucker? Props to you, dog. Props to you, because a lot of motherfuckers use it for the other reasons, bruh. And be real with yourself, bruh. Part of growing is holding yourself accountable and being real, bruh. You feel me? And you know on this channel, that's all we do. You feel me? We ain't gonna lie to each other. We ain't, we ain't, we gonna be accountable. You feel me? We gonna, we gonna be real with each other. You feel me? So boom, let, let's get to it. If you were did it to social media, bro, it could be two reasons, two things you doing on there, bro. And it could be fucking you up in two major ways. Number one, it's fucking up your confidence. And you compare yourself to others. Or number two, it's wasting too much of your time. Now, 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 let me explain both. I'm going to start with the confidence type shit. You get on social media and compare yourself to everybody. You look at them, even if you don't notice, you comparing yourself to them. You looking at their journey, even though you happy for them. You happy that they making their way, but but now I got you looking at your journey like, dang. Yeah, I'm happy for him, he doing his thing. I'm happy for her, she doing her thing, but but dang. Or dang, she look good, so you feel me? Uh, I, I like that she look good, but dang, I don't think I look that good for my lady or my niggas. Oh, damn, damn, he getting money. I'm proud of him, but damn, I need to get some more money in my pocket. It, it got you comparing yourself, bro. It got you comparing yourself to other people. Now, guess what? You insecure. The only person you should be competing with is yourself, number one, bro. And I'm not even finna get no motivation or nothing like that. I'm just saying, bro, if you get on that motherfucker and you look at another motherfucker, bro, if you gotta have another motherfucker to inspire you to do better with your life after, like, comparing yourself to others, bro, like, if you gotta compare yourself to others to motivate you to, to do something with your life, bro, you, that, we got bigger problems. You should motivate yourself, bro. Your life should be exciting to you. Now, that lead me to my next one. That lead me to my next one, my guy. You getting on there and, and you wasting so much time. Like, be real. Out of the day, how much time do you really spend on social media just bullshit? Just strolling on TikTok. Just, just laughing at shit. Laughing at all the TikTok. Not really doing shit. Instagram, just liking pictures, commenting on shit that really is irrelevant. And they don't got nothing to do with you or your people. Or, or the ones you care about. All they do, you, you learn about your favorite rapper, bro. Your favorite rapper don't care about you. You wasting too much time, bro. You wasting too much time, bro. You know, some niggas, bro, they'll get off work, get out of school, spend the rest of their day in bed on TikTok, on Instagram, on Snapchat, wasting too much time, bro. And then you be like, dang, man, I'm tired of doing this, man. You feel me? I, like, I wish life was different. This, that, bro. It's because you wasting too much time, bro. And you probably, okay, dang, I waste too much time. I need to fix that. Yeah, but let me tell you, let me even go a little deeper. Let me tell you why you doing it, bro. You doing it because you looking at their life like it's exciting. But you don't think your own life is exciting. Like, you need to make your own life exciting. Like, for example, bro, y'all be watching reality TV shows, watching drama girls and shit like that. You feel me? All that type of shit y'all be watching. Keeping up with all the new rappers and shit. Let me be real with you. They don't care about you, bro. They, they, don't, they don't care, bro. They using you. They, they All they care about you is watching them so you making their life. They make their situation better. In reality, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with, with spending time on, on YouTube, TikTok, none of that. Because cool, all that shit straight. But but that shit get overused, bro. If you start overusing this shit, bro, then it leads to the two things that I'm mainly talking about, bro. You feel me, bro? The majority of times you spend your, your whole day on there because you find that shit so exciting. But you don't find your own life exciting, my nigga. You got to make your own life exciting. You watching all these movies on YouTube and shit, my nigga, make your life a movie. Make your life a movie. You watching all these TikToks because it's so exciting. Why ain't your life exciting? Why don't you do that? Why don't you get up and you do something? Why don't you be the movie? Why don't you pull out a camera and, 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 and niggas watch you? Why don't you make a reality show and niggas watch you? But bro, make your own life exciting, bro. You don't want to spend your whole day every day. You don't want to spend five, six hours at your day saying you laid on your ass and I did shit just on your motherfucking phone, chilling and shit, not really doing much. That, that's not a way to live, bro. That's not a way to live. A way to live is not watching other people, bro. And and, 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 and let's be quite frank, bro. There's nothing wrong with doing it here and there, bro. But if you ain't got nothing doing, going for yourself and you. And a lot of y'all niggas use that for an escape. 
y'all niggas not happy with y'all self, bro. And not only is y'all not happy with y'all self, y'all don't really got enough confidence to get up and try to better your situation or to make your own life exciting. So you'd rather just watch another nigga life. Then you can, then you subconsciously compare yourself to them to that same person too. Be like, dang, he got this going on, got that going on. Stop worrying about what they got going on, and maybe you'll have something going on, bro. Just maybe. Just maybe if you put the phone down sometimes, bro, and get in tune with yourself and get off your ass and go and go do some shit that is actually mean something. Or go not only mean nothing like, oh, you gotta work, 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 grind, grind, grind. I'm saying even have a good time, bro. All that shit count working, grinding, and enjoyment, uh, fun, all that shit go in the same category, cause that shit is all life, bro. That, you feel me? It's your life at the end of the day, bro. You shouldn't spend the majority of your day looking at another motherfucking life. It just doesn't work. At this point, you're not even the main character in your life no more. If you just sitting on your ass watching other people, like I said, bro, you not even the main character in your life no more, bro. They the main character in your life. You looking up to them, you being like, dang, they life is they life is exciting. They got this going on, that going on. Why you so focused on them, bro? That, that's weird. That's weird. That's like you literally following around a person in real life, just looking at their every move, being like, ooh, I'm so excited with their life. That's weird. It, it, the only difference is he's over a, a, a glass stream. It's the same thing, bro. So make sure instead of always comparing your life to another motherfucker, bro, literally make your life the movie. Start watching so many movies and make your life the movie, bro. Put down your phone sometimes. And, let, and I'm not saying you can't never do it. Like I said, but, but that shouldn't be the majority of your day. Your whole day shouldn't be watching other motherfuckers do shit. You get up and do shit. You get up and do shit, my nigga. Go, go, go do something. Go, find, go, go do something, bro. Simple as that. You feel me? And when you is on your phone, make sure you ain't feeding yourself bullshit. Negative content, negative ad music that just got you sad and in your feelings, depressing music. Now, I'm not saying you can't listen to some lit shit. Now, I'm saying like depressing music, bro. That shit that just got you overthinking, got you thinking about some shit that happened in the past. Like, bro, get out there, get out your feelings, bro. I'm telling you, bro, you live this motherfucker one time, bro. One time, like I said, bro, get up and make your life the motherfucking movie. Make your life exciting, bro. Instead of watching another motherfucker for entertainment, use another motherfucker for entertainment. Like I said, it's cool here and there. It ain't nothing wrong with getting on YouTube, watching a video, a couple of videos before you go to sleep. You feel me? If you ain't really doing shit, but majority of your day should not always be watching 10,000 YouTube videos, bruh. You could spend that time bettering yourself. I'm just gonna be real with you. Now, like I said, bruh, this channel all about growing and, and making, helping y'all day be, be better and shit like that, dropping good content for y'all and shit. You feel me? So I'm being just real with you, bro. I'd be wrong as hell if I got on here and just lied to you and said, oh, you know what? Just get off work, get out of school, just go sit on your ass, just go lay down. I don't care if you a freshman, a senior, or you graduated. I don't, I don't care, bro. I don't care. I'm, this, this applies to anybody, bro. You should not just be sitting on your ass doing nothing all day because at that point, you doing that shit because you, your life not exciting. You not making your own life exciting. You using them for entertainment because you feel your shit ain't entertainment, bro. You got to appreciate your life and, and make it better. Because your life is in your hands. You can make that shit better. You feel me, bro? Make that shit better. I'm telling you, dog. You feel me? But like I said, this this account, this not even this account. This video is just about accountability, really, bro. This is holding yourself accountable so you can grow and shit like that, bro. You feel me, bro? Now, I'm not saying you're going to be perfect, my nigga. I'm not perfect. Ain't nobody watching this motherfucker perfect, bro. Simple as that. You feel me? But, hey, man, I just had to tell y'all boys the real. So, just take the advice, you feel me, and use that motherfucker to help you grow. And send it to somebody that you feel like they could grow to. Your sister, your brother, your cousin, your, your friend, anything, bruh. For really, your, your cousin, anybody, bruh. It really don't matter. But that's all I got for y'all in today's video, man. Make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on post notice. Follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already. If you need some one-on-one -on -one advice, hit me up on there. I'll be responding to y'all or I'll be trying to. But we growing, so it's getting a little more difficult to do. But that's a good problem, you feel me? It ain't even a problem. Like I said, it's good. On the road to 12K, we're going to hit it real soon. We ain't going to talk about it. We're just going to do it. TSL on top. I'm going to catch y'all boys next time, though. Hey.